Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and this is a bit of a different video. It's more of a discussion-oriented video around content creation and live streaming and, you know, being a parent and, and dealing with children and being a, ch a child myself at one point, being a teenager, being in front of the internet, um, and the choices and decisions that we make because of that. If you enjoyed this discussion, I hope you end up uh, subscribing to the channel and you know, dropping it a like and, and letting me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. I obviously ask that in any sort of um, highly controversial topic like this, because I don't really react that often to things that other content creators do, good or bad. Uh, I sort of leave, leave it be, and I, I tend to have this general policy where we don't down talk um, other content creators. In fact, I've defended a bunch of them in my live streams when people attempt to do that. I will ask that, you know, we remember that we're all humans, none of us are, you know, without flaws, and hey, even to this day, I sometimes stay and do stupid shit on live streams, uh, but even I have my limits, and that's because I know, you know, right from wrong, I know, you know, certain things that maybe I once thought were okay are not okay today, and this brings us to a guy that I hadn't heard of uh, really until a couple of days ago, and I've been kind of looking into him a little bit to see, you know, uh, to, to learn a bit more about uh, the kind of content creator is, the kind of streamer he is, um, and, and why he's being punished. And I, I will note, we are talking about someone who is technically a teenager. He is 17, so I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and not pretend that there isn't a difference between being a teenager and me being a mid-30s adult. There is a massive difference, and I have a lot more um, learned experiences in my life. You know, when you're over twice the, the age of this person, uh, obviously, you know, it, it, there there is that, maybe that certain maturity level that comes with aging, but also there could be cultural differences. There could be raised differently growing up in different areas. Um, lots of things that can make things different. But I wanted to commentate on this because um, I actually had a situation happen in my own home uh, that w w was similar to this. So, uh, first off, we're going to use this Kotaku article, not because I really like Kotaku that much, but because I can't show the clips because what this person says would literally get my YouTube channel deleted. How his YouTube channel isn't deleted yet, uh, is maybe because he's a kid. Uh, so YouTube's trying to be more understanding, maybe give him stern warnings. Uh, he has been banned by other people. So YouTube streamer with 6.9 million, he actually has 7 million followers at this point. So clearly he hasn't been hurt by this controversy. He's actually growing. Um, banned after a Valorant tirade clip surfaces. Riot Games has already banned him, and YouTube is investigating his behavior. Also, I think uh, Epic Games banned him from Fortnite as well, because uh, obviously he started switching and playing different games. Uh, and maybe the swiftest escalation of 2022, gaming YouTuber and experimental rapper I Showed Speed was banned from Valorant and other... I don't like this experimental rapper thing. He actually has music videos up that are... I mean, they're they're okay. There's some inappropriateness in the lyrics, like there isn't a lot of music. I don't usually judge music creativity too harshly, but maybe we should judge it more harshly in light of some of the things he said. Uh, but he was banned from Valorant and other Riot Games titles and potentially YouTube, although YouTube hasn't actually banned him yet. They are just looking into him. For demeaning a female player in Riot's tactical hero shooter... I show speed at sense apologized for this behavior, saying he was not having a good day in the clip that went viral and appears to have sparked the ban. While moderation was speedy, the entire debacle has sparked discussion around trash talking games and who gets a second chance when they're young and reckless. I show speed is best known as a variety streamer that primarily plays Fortnite and NBA 2K games, though he streams other things like Five Nights at Freddy's and Super Meat Boy 2. He's been on YouTube since at least 2016, uploading gameplay videos here and there, but rose to prominence after 2021. His memes of his explosive behavior often filled with physical and verbal violence towards the game, his teammates, the camera, or all of the above. Proliferated online, this is what I Shall Speed became known for, an eccentric personality with a tendency to blow up in stereotypical gamer rage. And it's worth noting, I Shall Speed is one of the biggest and fastest rising streamers on the platform. Unfortunately, that gamer rage that got I Shall Speed in trouble this week. Esports commentator Jake Lucky spotted an old clip. By the way, this old clip is about four and a half months old, so it's not like we're talking about something that is ancient history back in 2016 coming back up in 2022, where it's been six years. He's a kid. You can learn a lot in six years. This is something that happened within the last year. Um, 
So, uh, so he was screaming at a female Valorant player in the video. I uh, told the player to get off the effing game and do your husband's dishes. Also repeatedly called her uh, uh, the, the B word and basically said that, hey, you're a girl, you can't talk to me. Like, because of your gender, you can't game, you can't talk to me. Uh, clearly behavior that isn't okay, especially in 2022. Uh, but uh, it, even as a teenager, isn't really cool, you know? Um and he said it at the top of his lungs, um, occurring moments after an enemy player killed him. So, you know, a classic rager moment. And here's the tweet. Now, uh, at first you might think, well, he's a kid. He made a mistake. Who really cares? Um, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, he's, he's getting a huge following. But, you know, it, it, it's not as if uh, it's not as if this kid is, uh, you know, can't learn from this experience. Uh, he, he was banned on Twitch. Uh, but it's kind of an interesting story. I didn't have to dig very far to find out that this behavior from him is actually quite normal, especially in regards to how he talks to females. Um, so when you go to his Twitter account here, uh, which again, he's not banned on Twitter. So again, he has, he's only been deplatformed on Twitch. He's, he's not banned from YouTube or Twitter or anything. Um, you go down here and here's his apology. And uh, in this apology, the, here's what you hear him say here. Listen. What's good, um, everybody? Um, it's a clip, you know, that I've seen, you know, that's going crazy right now. Uh, me between an altercation with uh, a girl and I was playing Valorant. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say some, you know, like a few things uh, from that uh, situation. You know what I'm saying? But that day, um, you know, I wasn't having a good day. You know, I was getting a lot of racist text and speech donations. A lot of people, you know, talking about my dead aunt that's in the grave right now. But look. I don't want to make that no excuse. I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not trying to justify. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like that day I just don't bash on people for no reason. That's what I that's where I'm coming from from that. You know. So, he basically is saying that this is a one-off situation. He didn't uh he was having a bad day. Uh he was dealing with racist comments, which I'm sure happen. Um, and obviously people bringing up his dead aunt, which, yeah, okay, that can make you emotional. And he's a teenager, and teenagers already struggle with emotion. So there, there's a point where you can say, you know what, this is just a teen being a teen. Um, you know, he, he it's, it's whatever. We all make mistakes, and again, we do. Um, but then you scroll down and you say, girls don't want to see you win. This was back on March 21st, so this wasn't even that long ago. And then you go in here and quickly, you'll see see the, the Valorant clip here, which we're not going to watch. But then there's this clip. This clip has actually happened after this one. And this clip is where this female here, um, a hypothetical situation comes up about uh, how she would, would never procreate with him. Okay, fine. It's She has no interest in procreating with him uh and he said well what if we're on a deserted island or what if we're the last two people on earth um and you know we had to procreate for uh the sake of keeping humankind alive and she said i still wouldn't procreate with you and he said who's gonna stop me and she said well i would stop you we're the last two people on earth who's gonna stop me which was basically inferring that he would force her to do that um, again, not really, mm, yeah, okay, now we got two situations, wait, it gets worse, here, these two girls were doing nothing, he was just having, he was on Omegle, which reminds me of the old school Yahoo chat rooms and all that, you could, you could video chat with people as well back then, so Omegle's really not a new concept, this is something that, even when, in, in the early 2000s, we had stuff like this, so when people act like, you've never been on live stream with people, Please, we had stuff back then. It just wasn't, the internet in general wasn't as popular. But he's video chatting with these girls and uh, everything's going fine. And, and then he asked them how old they are and they didn't understand his, uh, what he said uh, because it sounded a bit mumbled, which I mean, that happens, accents, cultures, etc. cetera. Uh, so he repeats it and then they say they're 15 and then he goes off on them using the B word, using all sorts of profanity, saying, calling them ugly, um, just literally reams in her. Now, the girls laugh because, oh, how else are they supposed to react? I mean, they could get really, really offended, but they're, they're teenagers, and they probably think that he sounds like an idiot, um, which he definitely did in this clip. Um, but it, even that, you know, you can say, okay, so you, you found a few clips. There's actually dozens of them. Um, you scroll down, scroll down even further, you know, because people said, you know, well, that a lot of this was when he was 16, 
okay, well, this this was when um, the, 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 this is when he was 17. This is a couple months ago. Sorry, guys, I'm deleting this app. I'm tired of beating it every time I see something attractive walk by. And the thing is, look, it could be a joke. I hope it's a joke. Uh, but still very insensitive saying that, hey, I can't be on here because I can't control myself around females I find attractive. Um, again, not cool. So, look, the reason we're talking about this is because obviously he is a streamer, a game streamer, a variety streamer. He, he does a variety of things as well. He doesn't just game stream, but game streaming was a big part of what he was doing, hasn't been doing it as much uh, for the last few months because, hey, he got banned by a bunch of games o over his actions and behavior. Uh, and there's been a lot of talk around, you know, this particular situation because unlike something like, you know, when H3H3 gets canceled or Boogie2988 or Logan Paul, all the cancel culture things we talk about out there generally deal with adults um, and, and deal with situations where, one, a lot of the times they end up bouncing back. I mean, Logan Paul was literally just in WrestleMania two years ago, wasn't it? He was just like in the, in, in, in the, in the Japanese suicide forest. Like, let, let, let's just be honest here. Um, you know, he kind of bounced back pretty well from that, didn't he? Jake Paul has bounced back from some of his controversies. Although you could argue he, you know, he wasn't never in, I guess, as hot water as Logan Paul was for that situation. Um, and, and we've seen David Dover bounce back. We've seen Shane Dawson bounce back. So a lot of online adult creators, do get their second and or even third chances sometimes to make right mistakes that they, they, they make because in general, the mistake they make is a little bit off brand compared to a lot of the other things they do. In this case, this person's mistake isn't off brand, but this, this person is also at least in the United States considered to be a minor and they are one, even though as of 16, they can be tried as an adult they're technically still a minor until they're 18, meaning somebody else is responsible for them unless the parents have, have a, there, there's some paperwork you could fill out to make the kid responsible for themselves. And maybe that's the case in this. And maybe he, you know, is entirely independent at this point. I don't know his life and family situation, nor do I want to speculate on it. But what I will say is that it, it, it creates a very interesting conversation because of how young this kid is. Some of this stuff happening at 16. Some at 15, some at 17, nothing's really changed. Everything kind of stays the same as he's getting older. He doesn't seem to be learning, and he is apologizing, but he's apologizing because it's going viral. He wasn't apologizing after it happened. He wasn't apologizing a week after he did it, and he's repeatedly done things like this since. So nothing's really changed. So I find this to be fascinating because my own child, I caught him... Uh, just yesterday, and he's only eight years old. I, I've got a six-year-old, an eight-year-old, and an almost 12-year-old. And you would figure the 12-year-old would be the one uh, that gets busted, but eh, she's been busted before and now knows better. So if she is using inappropriate language or talking down to people, she has learned you don't do it in front of your parents, you don't do it in front of your teachers, you don't do it in front of other adults, and you don't do it in front of anyone in public but your friends. At least that's what it seems like because she ne has never been caught using this language uh, since due to our own parental disciplinary actions. Uh, groundings and taking things away and, and, and all that. Uh, in a case like this, like this kid, um, you know, assuming that he isn't legally responsible for himself yet. I mean, if I was his parent, it, it, it's pretty simple. I catch you talking like that. Um, I don't need YouTube and Twitch to step in. You no longer have access to electronics, no phone, no computer, no internet. I cut off the internet, obviously. And he makes a bunch of money. That's fine. He can keep the money that he has. Keep the money. Keep it in your bank. Move out if you, if, if that's what you want to do. But you ain't going to live in my house talking like that. It's just not going to happen. That would not be allowed. And I caught my eight-year-old uh, who was taking a shower by himself. There was nobody in there. And he was, you know, using his imagination. At first, he was singing a song. And then he stopped and started, like, pretending he was talking to a friend. And then he told his imaginary friend in this situation to shut the F up, you stupid B. And he didn't realize that I was in the other room and could hear him, of course. So I walk in and I'm like, son, you know that we don't talk like that to other people. I know you know what swear words are. I'm not silly. You're in school. You're out in the world. You know what swear words are. You know that people use them to attack others. You know that people use them being silly and it's part of everyday life. But we don't talk like that towards other people. And I know there's nobody in the shower with you right now, but you're acting out a situation in your mind that could maybe happen when you're at school, it can maybe happen 
when you're out in the world. It can maybe happy happen when you're on video. And I know you normally don't talk like this around us, but I want you to understand it's not okay to talk like that to anyone. And if I find out you are talking that way to anyone, sure, there will be some consequences at home. Uh, and that's just, you're going to have to deal with it like your sister had to deal with it. And he seemed to understand. Again, we'll we'll see. I have no idea, obviously, how he talks with his friends and what goes on privately, uh, nor do I necessarily need to know how he talks with his friends. Um, I, you know, that's, that's his business. And, you know, I was a teen, I, I swore, I, I did dumb things, said dumb things. And I know for a fact that when I was a teenager, I said racist, sexist, and all sorts of things, you know, things that were, um, you know, using the R word, um, you know, which is just shouldn't be used. And I should know better because my mom was a social worker and I just didn't care back then. Um, and so I remember what it was like to be a teenager and talk that way. And it's true. I didn't have you know, massive platforms to get caught saying things on, like Twitter or YouTube. Social media was really young back then. It existed, but it was young. There were streaming platforms, but there weren't a lot of people using it because there weren't a lot of people with internet access. Internet access blew up really around the time smartphones did. I mean, it blew up before then, but it got massive when smartphones became a thing. So, uh, yeah, it's one of those situations where I, I you could argue I was fortunate to not have much of my life broadcasted online. Some of that is parenting, you know, parenting and teacher kids that you don't broadcast your life online. Well, that's neither here nor there. Um, I don't think that this kid should be canceled for life, okay? I want to make it clear. What he did is wrong, and what he's repeatedly said about females is wrong. The way that he treats them, the way he talks down to them, it's not just that he was getting picked on as he depicts it, it's that this is what he does in every given situation that involves a female. It's always down talking, sexism, and, you know, treating them like they are second class citizens compared to himself and compared to males. And this is just not an okay attitude to have. And it's not obviously being corrected in the home or he wouldn't keep doing this publicly. So this is where the internet is stepping in and attempting to, to quote unquote, cancel him. And for the most part, I don't like cancel culture, but there are moments, there are times when it's appropriate. And this is one of those moments in times where this is a child clearly with a mindset and a behavior set that's not changing over time that needs to have something happen to him to make him understand how wrong it is. And right now, Getting banned by games wasn't enough. Getting kicked off Twitch wasn't enough. Now he's on YouTube still dropping slurs and calling people the B word as he hits 7 million subscribers, mostly 7 million people that are encouraging him to behave this way. And we want to try to encourage better behavior. Now we can't change people and nothing he's doing is illegal and he shouldn't have any legal repercussions but I do think that platforms like YouTube have made it very clear that you are not to act this way, which is why I'm very curious how he hasn't been banned yet, because while you can swear on YouTube, I can drop F-bombs and say, you know what, fuck this, or this game is shit. You can say those things on YouTube and not be deplatformed, but you can't say them towards others, or you will be. And I don't know how he hasn't actually been deplatformed by YouTube, at least temporarily, even if it's not a permanent ban, let's say he gets a six month ban or something, right? Like some sort of thing that hits him in the wallet, hits him in the ego, because right now he's still growing. His YouTube channel is becoming more popular than it's ever been. He needs to have some real punishments happen to him. Twitch count temporarily banned, uh, YouTube temporarily banned. Let him feel the weight, the gravity, the consequences of his behavior, so then he can maybe realize what's so wrong about it. And I think parents are supposed to do that, but the kid's 17 now. I think he's reached that age that it's beyond parents being able to actually change it. Because, dude, the kid, 7 million followers, makes thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars at the age of 17 this kid is making. Yeah, as soon as he hits 18, he can tell his parents to F off, I'm out of here. He can probably already do that and, and you know not have a hard time legally. So I think that it's beyond parents being able to do anything. We are at a point now where the only thing that can happen to teach him 
is to take away the way in which this kid is making his living. Not forever. He deserves a second chance. He deserves to come back and show through his content that he's no longer like this, that whether he's raging, whether he's not raging, any time a female is in his vicinity, that he no longer behaves this way. Even if he's only doing it as an act while he's live, that at least shows he learned, hey, I can't talk this way in front of other people. That's at least learning something when the real lesson is you just shouldn't talk that way in general. You shouldn't look at females in that way in general. They aren't just sex objects. They aren't just, you know, objects in general. They're not, that's not what they are. They are people. They're no different than you, just with different genitalia. Like it, anyways, hate to see what his thoughts are on, uh, on a lot of the other stuff, the LGBTQ plus community. I have a feeling that, uh, he probably has some spicy thoughts on that as well. And that's being a bit presumptuous, but the way he reacts towards females in general tells me it's probably not a great look. Um, and now I don't condone anyone going to attack this guy. I don't condone anyone, um, you know, making, especially if you're making racist comments and just delete my channel and, and, and get out of here because that's not what we promote here. I want to promote growth and I want this, this creator. Um, I want, I show speed to really, take a hard look at how he's behaving um, as he's entering adulthood here and uh, maybe try to set, use himself to set an example moving forward. Like if he doesn't get deplatformed, fine. I just want him to learn, you know, I, I just want him to learn. That's all. He's so young. I'm not saying that he should be canceled forever. I just, I want to see him grow and learn from all of this and become a better person moving forward and set a good example. Those 7 million people that follow him that encourage this behavior, I would love for him to fight back against those 7 million and actually show them and encourage them to be better and to learn from him. But uh, we'll see if that happens. He's got a unique opportunity here to do that, to actually have some real personal growth. But it starts by first admitting that there's a problem that isn't just a one-off, I had a bad day. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffeljans from Nathaniel Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.